Hey everybody, welcome to day 89 of the 90 day video challenge. That means we are one day short. We're going to do today and then we will finish tomorrow. Mm -hmm. How exciting is that? It's been 90 days and we have done a video every day. Almost. Every day. Almost. <laughs> well, tomorrow will be 90. Yeah. So we can't. Say, so far we've done it every day. <laughs> so we, can't, we can't count the chickens before they're all hatched, right? That's what That's they say. That's true. So it's 89 days in. We're almost to 2020. We're going to step into 2020 on the right foot. You can see we're back in the same place today. I made it home. Felt much better when I woke up this morning than <laughs> I did goodness. last night. And uh, so I made my way home this morning. Mm -hmm. And we had a good day with friends. So some friends of ours were moving. And if you've ever moved, and I'm sure most everyone has, it's awful. Yeah. There is not anything good about it. I mean, it's it's exciting to get to go to a new place and, and start a new chapter. I get all of that, but moving itself, I'd rather just set the house on fire and start over from scratch. Yeah, and these friends um, that we helped today, they have five kids between the age of 21-year-olds all the way up to probably 11, 11, 12, right in there. And they, the 21 year olds are um, being adopted and so they have certain things that they have to have constantly and so it was tearing down stuff today and then they're I'm sure putting stuff back up because they've got yeah. to have the cribs and those things um, and it was just a glimpse back to whenever we had littles mm -hmm. and I'm so thankful that they grow up and that they they have the ability, not that they will, but they have the ability to pick up after themselves, take care of themselves, be more self-sufficient. I can remember being in those days thinking, this will never end. These kids are going to ruin me. <laughs> um, and, you know, it's not, it's not that those days are bad. They're difficult in certain areas. But, you know, when they get to be the same age that they are now... For us, with teenagers and a couple out of the house and a couple driving and, a, you know, just sort of being in that mid-teen years, it has its own trying moments. Mm -hmm. And But just like when they're small, I mean, there are plenty of rewarding moments as well. Uh, I wouldn't trade this family for anything. I think that there are so many good things that we have gotten out of this experience of being blended uh, having to learn to deal with putting two families together. Uh, just all of the things that have gone into it have created quite an experience for, mm -hmm. for me, and I'm sure for you as well. Yeah, and it really hit me hard today whenever Kenneth and Candy were asking where all of our kids were. And Candy said, well, two of them went home to their houses. I was like, oh, they did. They went home to their houses. Yeah. You know, and it's some. Of the, it's one of those things. It's always hard. So you know, like mm -hmm. when when they leave, when Allison left the other day, when Jaden left uh, the next day, it's hard. It's hard to watch them leave. Uh, but you <laughs> sort of live in knowing that you've done everything you can do to help them be productive adults. Uh, you've tried to teach them the things that they need to know, and you know, then you got to commit them to God's hands and just hope that they make wise choices. Maybe that'll start one of these days. <laughs> so, uh, but blended families are unique. And I don't, I don't mean to take anything away from people that have stayed the course and, and done it. I have lots of friends that have done that. And that is amazing in its own right. And I, I don't mean to take anything away from it. But being in a blended family has, with its challenges, some unique rewards. And... When you choose to love somebody's child that is not your own, um, it, is, it is a hard and special thing. So that's partially why we do what we do here is we want to help encourage those of you that are in the blend that are just going, I don't know if this is the right choice. And it is probably the most difficult thing you'll ever do to step in and choose that choice because on the other side of that I've been a kid that has been the stepkid and you didn't want that person you don't sometimes you don't like them 
they're stepping on your feet. You just, a lot of times kids have stepped up into roles that they shouldn't have had to with taking care of other siblings or taking care of household chores, things that they wouldn't in a natural family do. And whenever that new person comes in, they're not usually welcomed. And so continuing, like he said, to stay the course and continuing to love on that person, even whenever they push back harder than anybody has ever pushed back against you to just continue to envelop them in love, continue to hold the line, to understand that discipline is a form of love. It is saying, I love you enough to not let you continue to make that choice. So it is a very difficult and rewarding thing. It is. And so as we get ready to head into 2020, as we get ready to uh, start a new year and a new chapter, I want to encourage you, if you're in a blended family, to stay the course, to be strong, to be encouraged, and know that there are other people just like you that are going through the same things that you're going through, good, bad, ugly, beautiful, uh, joyful, hurtful, all of those things that we are here and we are trying to figure it out as best we can. Mm -hmm. So um, we're here for you. We're here to encourage you. Yep. (laughs) I love it. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) So anyway, uh, tomorrow we're going to head out. We're going to be doing some traveling. And hopefully the stuff that we shoot over the next couple of days will be in the first video of the new year. We have one more day of daily videos uh, that this has been a challenge. And we hope to bring you some challenges in the new year. Uh, Not 90 days, because 90 days is a long, long time. Um, But, you know, more in the day, more in the range of a 20 day, 21 day challenge. Mm -hmm. It's meant to help create habits within you and within your household that will uh, hopefully develop uh, good habits uh, that'll bring things that are rewarding. And so we just want to be able to, uh, to come alongside you and give you some resources that will help you grow as you lead your blended family. So with that. I'm so excited. We're finishing strong and starting anew all in the next 72 hours. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to getting up in the middle of the night. I know that. Yeah. But other than that, it's going to be good. So you guys check in with us one more time on day 90, and then we will finish out and have a little New Year's party and be ready to go into 2020 on the right foot. Yay. Okay, so we'll see you tomorrow, day 90. <laughs> 90. 90. He didn't think it was possible 89 days ago. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys How tomorrow. How do you feel now? Well, I'm, I'm tired right now. <laughs> He's been tired this whole 90 days. So, I'm so sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow, day 90. Have a great night.